Uh, tail of sprats running around this facility don't have a sprat catcher on the roster. Maybe I should file a request with acquisitions for one. Teacup canids are famed for their ability to hunt sprats, after all. And for keeping people company. No visitors, no visitors. Can't finish my game of solitaire. Someone stole a handful of cards from the deck. <laughs> desk unmanned. Unsuccessfully hunted for the missing cards. Uh, Candy request, request was denied. We've run out of caffeinoid. Our first restocking shipment isn't set to arrive until the new fiscal year. I guess that delivery will mark the facility's first visitors. Now there's something to look forward to. Did some digging in the system records. It turns out our supplies are set to be delivered by, get this, a crew of auto mechanicals. Day 182. I thought I heard knocking at the front door, but it turned out to be just some thunder. Always thunder. Funny how it could sound like so many different things. A boom, crack, a snap. Uh, knocking, laughing, screams. <laughs> Period. Screams. Okay. Venturing outside. At first, I was worried something fierce about all the lightning strikes. Auto mechanical, uh... Electromechanical uh, turbine goes on the fritz without uh, without warning. But I'm out of cards and out of caffeinoids, so there's not much else to do. Turns out I no longer need to feel safe. What I need is to feel alive. Outside, the wind, okay. Very attempts, uh, look over the ledge. She was like, how easy it would be to simply tip forward to plummet. Oh. This, uh, this lady. Having a rough day. <laughs> a rough year or so. Okay, so let's sell because we are desperate for cash. Uh, I'll just mark everything as junk, right? Can I mark as junk? No. Wait. Sell all those and then sell junk. And then I can sell expanded, charged. Both of those. Alright, I think we're good. Done, done. Ah. Hmm. I, oh, there you are. There's an intercom going off. Well. Let's go ahead and leave everything alone, unless it's locked like this. But we are slowly trying to find some more cash just lying around. Take that. Okay. Easy does it. Ring. Ah, the auto mechanicals seem to have gone on a rampage, as they are prone to do, apparently. It was an intercom. At least I saw that pop up. Nicely done. Yeah, we'll take it. Just because we can sell it. Oh. I have a feeling we should probably go back up and see if there's one in that main room. I didn't do a good job of looking. We're going the other way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. You're excused. There we go. Just bring it, Kelly. Everything's gonna be alright. <laughs> Repeatedly buzzing her calm button. Ragged breathing. You're standing pretty close to the speaker. I can hear you breathing, you little lab sprat. Just wait, just wait, just wait. They can't open the door. Eventually, their security protocols will reset. Just wait through the next charging cycle. The supply drop will be here. Tomorrow, the next day. When it comes, just sneak onto the ship. Easy as you please. Who's out there? I'm the captain of my own ship. Open up, we'll get you away from Olympus. Uh, got to count to the three of I'm bashing this door in. Really? I would be indebted to you for life. But how do I know I can believe you? 
A trustworthy face. I'll have to come out to assess it myself. Hold on. I'm opening the door. Oh. Well. <laughs> Okay, leave that alone. I guess I'll. T oh, receptionist Kelly. Yes, the suicidal lady that we've read the thoughts of. Interesting. Give me your ammo. Let me just catch my breath. I swear, my heart's trying to punch its way out of my chest. Law, I'm so lucky you came along. I know it sounds crazy, but a little while back, I'd been gearing myself up to take a long walk off a short turbine platform. Then the security mechanicals broke out into a massacre, and I realized I... Well, I really want to live. How can I help you help me get out of here? Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go with who are you. I'm Kelly Marine, the receptionist. And before you ask, I wasn't manning the visitor's desk when the mechanicals went haywire, because no one comes here. Not ever. Not since all us station workers were dropped off at the start of the project a year ago. Okay. Project's on a yearly rotation cycle. Once a year, Anti-Clero reviews our work and decides if we get more rations, personnel, deadlines, that sort of thing. At first, I thought it was an honor getting assigned to a lab up in the ether high above Olympus. But I didn't know what it'd be like, day in and day out. Um... Okay. Cabin fever sets in at about 90 days. Auntie Cleo's official term is contagious irritable claustrophobia, and it ain't covered by the company's medical policy. If I had to guess, you'd probably find his body either in his office or the labs. Or heck, he could have been on the toilet. I don't know. No bones about it, he was the smartest of us all. Maybe he evaded the Automex, too. Like what? Pink slip protocol. How should I know? I just monitor the front desk. Well, except for the last couple of days when I've been hiding out in here. If you work at Oops, you're doing research and development. If we're not researching or developing fast enough, the protocol's there to put the fear in us. Somebody messed up. When one of us makes a mistake, the whole facility pays for it. I know it sounds harsh, but it was in our contracts and everything. Okay. <laughs> this place is called Oops. Yep. Olympus Orbital Pharmaceutical Station. Auntie Cleo's naming and branding department's the best in Halcyon. Just a feeling I got. Every day was the same as every other day. I felt like I was stuck in a circle, you know? Started imagining what it'd be like to break that circle. Station goes in a circle around the planet, so what if I just dropped off the edge? But after what I've seen, after what happened, I don't want that anymore. I want to live. I'm not making anything. The research team, they were brewing up some improvement to Auntie Cleo's anthracillin. Science stuff isn't really my area, though, so I don't know more than that. Do I ever? Drop me off on the groundbreaker and I'll be out of your hair in no time. I should have gone the other way. Charge for transport. Oh, thank you so much. I'll just hide in a crate or something. You won't even know I was there. Here, this is my official laboratory headgear. I won't be needing it anymore, so it's all yours. The hell am I going to do with that? Well, 
Well. This thing is so good. I just I just fire them up in the air and then they they choose the target. So this is where we came down the first time. So I, I do have a... I do like that I went and talked to... Um, Kelly. That worked out for us. Hey, what would happen if this nation fell into Olympus? Would we just keep falling forever? Just asking. Possibly. Possibly you. Oh, that's the wrong one. That works anyway. Now, these don't go directly at what I point them at. That one just doesn't die. What the hell? About to say, did I find a glitch? All right, moving on. Ooh. I broke my legs. Those check the bodies, I guess. Scientist. A single bit. Nah, 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 nah. Take all those, take all those. I don't want to go in there quite yet. I'm gonna check this, uh, I'm gonna check the workshop and see if I can find a, um, a mod that allows us to continue, um, well, that didn't go as well as I thought it would. That allows us to continue to level up. I don't like that there's a level cap in this game. I'll leave you, you ones alive. I've called the herd upstairs. You uh, you can move in whenever you feel like. Um, children, whatever. If you if you two have them, or well, possibly if one of you have them, we'll see how that goes. Hello. You saw it. It came charging at me. Wow. Nice work. Thank you. I like how positive he is. Incoming. Okay. Things are going on here. Lots of stuff. Dr. Mora. Uh, lethal. Stuff's going on. You understand, do you not, darling? Darling. Do not send. Okay, whatever. I read that whenever you want to. Have fun, pa uh, cop not copying and pasting, uh, pausing and restarting over and over again. Oh, key card. Okay, that one's big. Heads up, We're gonna do what we can here. Uh, V. Heal real quick. Ah! 
heal again. Because I need it. As best I can here. Ooh, hello. Did we kill the big one? I think we did. I need everything I can to sell here. There's vending machines around the place. So we will sell as we need to. Great work. I was hoping that thing would drop more. But it's okay. Let's heal again. Have the full health. I can see you. Okay. He's got a gun in his hand or something, but we'll... <laughs> We'll talk to him in a minute. Uh, I don't have the turbine platform key. Might tell him to jump off of it. If he's got it. It's been talked about quite a bit. Is there anything? Oh, right, yes. Anything that might help me in the conversation here is really all I'm looking for. Take all the food. You'll have to show me how to do that. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see what's going on down here real quick. Just in case there's another key card or something else I could use. Nope. Oh, this is where, where she was. I could have skipped this whole thing. Or, well... Yeah? Yeah, I could have. I could have skipped everything. Just gotten right up here. That's okay. I mean, maybe it did. Maybe it did tell me to do that, but that's a while ago. Hello. Oh no, no, that won't do it all, Jasper. You, ah, ah, ah. Shush. No talking. Concentrating. Damn it. I almost had it. The formula was in my mind, and I almost had it. I was so close to a breakthrough, I could practically taste it. You really did pick the worst time to manifest. Me too. All right. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Oh, hang on. I see what's happening. You're real. Ergo, not a hallucination. This is interesting. I have several questions for you. Let's start with the obvious. Who are you, and how are you even alive? Well, I'm good at my, what I do here. Um, all sorts of things. Science, mainly. A little bit of research. If you're talking about all the dead bodies, that'd be the pink slip protocol. Right. That answers that. Next question. Do you come bearing fresh pharmaceuticals? <laughs> May I suggest caution? Hallucination can be quite tricky to navigate. Look, we all know you're here to interrogate me. If I'm going to go through this ordeal, I'm not doing it sober. Only got stale drugs on me. Um. Ugh, stale drugs. Well, what's one more disappointment anyway? Well, no, you don't. There's nothing interesting in the chem lab. There's nothing interesting in Gorgon at all. Gorgon is a featureless rock dragged along by the gravitational current of a barren asteroid belt. The chem lab is a graveyard. You won't find anything there but the dead. Well, it wasn't me. I've been stuck in this place for ages. In any case, it's becoming obvious you're not listening to sensible warnings. If you've set your heart on exploring my old labs, I won't try to dissuade you. Indulge me with a favor, and I'll give you the access you want. The electromechanical turbine is offline. Without any power, I can't possibly continue my work. Be a deer and reactivate it for me. That's all I ask. 
Okay. Not that it's any of your business, but I don't get to quit. My colleagues are dead, and yet I live. So I don't get to quit. Take the elevator to the storm platform at the top of this facility. Reactivate the turbine, and I'll give you the access you want. Of course you do. Well then, let's hear them. One thing at a time, my chatty accomplice. Turbine repairs first, interviews later. No. Did you snoop through my things and just admit it to me? You do have gall, I'll give you that. Look, I keep a draft on my terminal where I vent my occasional frustrations with upper management. It's honestly one of my less detrimental coping methods, as I am not stupid enough to fill out the name in the address field. Ah!